you can create amazing videos thanks to the fact that AI can read images well. So in this video, I will show you how to create diagrams from single images and then turn them into fantastic videos. Shout out to Rory Flynn, who gave me inspiration to create this YouTube video. In this video, I will use JSON prompt on which you can check out my tutorial here, where I show you how you can use them to create awesome videos with Google VO3. Now let's go ahead with diagram two video. Now, if you want to create videos from images, you need a basic image, a reference image, okay? So if you don't have uh, an image of your product, you can just create something from the internet. So I found this on Google, which is basically an image of parts of the laptop and each one is named. So I just put it to ChatGPT and said, recreate this image, but remove all the text and the line. So I get the image that I want, but it didn't understand me well uh, <laughs> regarding the image size, although it looks nice. I just continued to prompt and this was closer to what I wanted although I didn't want the burger here, okay? Then I asked it to turn it into 3D style and this was much closer to what I wanted. But then I just wanted the 16 to 9 size, so it's horizontal. And then we removed the second keyboard. And now I finally had the image that I wanted to turn into a video. So when you have the image, then you can just ask ChatGPT, Claude or other AI model to write you a JSON prompt. Just be a little bit specific about the details, but it will structure it for you. So the result is awesome. Now, when we look into VO3, you can see I generated several of these videos and I will show you what result they were. So you can see the quality of this video is not that good. It's very chaotic. There were several scenes. So when you get a bad result, definitely go back to ChatGPT and ask it to improve the prompt so VO3 can understand it better. So here you can see I asked or I wrote, VO3 didn't understand the prompt. Please adjust the prompt so there's only one scene, okay? This was very specific and very important to mention. And then I had another JSON prompt, which I was just good to copy and paste. And here was another result. This is much closer to what I wanted, right? It's not exactly the outcome that I was expecting, but we're getting closer and closer. Now, let me show you how I generated the cheeseburger video. So I uploaded a reference image of what made a baguette, basically, and then asked it to generate uh, ingredients for a cheeseburger like this. Then I played around a little bit because I thought I didn't want so many onion here and the other ingredients. But I basically then went away with this image and I just hoped for the best. So if you see here, I wrote to write a JSON prompt for this image and turn the ingredients into a burger in a fast tornado movement. Now, it gave me this JSON prompt, which I put into flow. And this is the result I got on the first try. Pretty bad, right? Even the fucking burger fall apart in the end. Like this is not supposed to happen. It was too big and it went small and then it flew away. So then you need to go to ChatGPT again and say like, it didn't give you good results. Adjust it according to this one, but keep it about cheeseburger. And here you can see, I uploaded some reference according to the baguette that I found online. And here I had another prompt. So I just copy pasted, uploaded it. And here you can see this result is much better. I actually want to eat a cheeseburger right now. Okay, and this is the third video that I created. So here you can see the image. And then I asked ChatGPT to generate a JSON prompt for this because I want to create a video out of it. And here's the JSON prompt that I put into VO3. And this is the result. So this was the first try. So it's not bad, although I don't know why there's this random thing on the road, something black, but it kind of looks good. And this is the final try. Pretty good. The camera movement is not that fast as I wanted, but I'm sure if I gave it another 10, 20, 30 tries, I would get the result that I wanted. Now, if you want the best results for your video, you should give instructions also in the image, thus the diagram. So here you can see here are arrows which show where all the ingredients should move and they should form a burger, okay? But this is like the basic. I like more uh, the instructions for a car, for example. Here you can see it's a car and I show arrows like which way it should 
go it should speed fast and then the camera should follow it so this is probably the easiest and best way to achieve better results with video and have more control over your results and the one last thing you should not forget is to include one thing in your prompt which is this so if you look at this prompt you can see here it says remove all on-screen text or annotations that appear in the beginning of the video this should be in every single prompt because you want this text to disappear okay which is in the beginning of the video you see it disappeared so you can easily download trim the part of the video and then it looks good but if you don't include it it will probably be there and it will mess up the whole video so here for example i have the video i will trim it and now it starts well so here's a quick summary. Create or get the image that you want to turn into video, then add notes in the image that how you want the video to evolve, then put it into ChatGPT, give you a JSON prompt for the video, and of course, instruct the AI to delete all the text from the video in the beginning of the video. Now that you have an image and the prompt, go to VO3 and just upload it here, paste the prompt, hit generate, and give it a few tries because you will rarely get get results on your first try. If you want to see more tutorials like this, please let me know in the comments and subscribe for more. See you in the next one.